1st of November. I mean, 25th of November. Come on. Five nukes. Will I ever need them? That is the question. Watch, I get, n I get n If I get nuked. If I get nuked before <laughs> I even launch nuke, I, I think that's just my karma saying, you should have done it. I mean, I'll leave Mexico, Central America. Central America is Social Democrat, so maybe they're really not that bad, you know? I'll leave these guys alone, I mean, yeah. But these guys, South America, will fall. And I'll, I'll play, like, epic music in the background. With, like, German paratroopers falling from the sky. Opening the parachutes, of course, but still falling from the sky. You know? Rio Blitzkrieg. Let's go for... Ooh! I totally forgot about modernizing my Air Force. Thank God we have... Thank... Thank Das Kaiser for Junkers Fock. Or... Fock... Fock Junkers? I don't remember. God damn it. And... That's new agriculture techniques. Let's get to work on these... Uh, I don't really want to battle with a raider. Should we modernize our... Oh, <laughs> substandard fleet? Come on, we're Germany. We don't need a fleet, right? Right? Excuse me, we actually probably do need a fleet, especially if we're gonna do something about Japan. Pardon me. Oh. Mm. Okay. Are we nearly ready? You know? Yeah, I think we're ready for war with the white Ruthenians, probably. Let's get on that war now. Go. Uh, someone give me something. National research. There we go. National infrastructure. Yes. 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 Yeah. I actually wonder if that's technically cheating now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not dealing with the dissent that I should be dealing with, but, I mean... If it's, if it's, is, it, is it really cheating? <laughs> I guess it could be. Probably is, to be honest. Oh, right, we're not at war with the Ukrainians yet. Silly me. 4,000. I wonder if I'll actually finish this war before everyone even gets here. Should probably work on new logistics skills. Actually, down there, Benz. They know how to build a sweet ride. <laughs> they moved in Smolensk. Wow. Now that is how you. That is how you white with India, right there. That's how you white with India. Actually, let's go that way. My keyboard. Stop being a scrub keyboard. Yes. More and more and more victory for the Reich. The glorious coalition forces will not be stopped by anyone. Except for, I don't know, Kaiser himself, probably. He's all like, slow down, slow your roll. That's probably how it's gonna be eventually. The Kaiser's gonna be like, alright, th that's enough. That's enough. The Germans can only expand so far before, I don't know, we're vilified by the entire world. Oh, wait! The world loves us because we are the world. Man, talk about world domination. Who would have thought it actually would have happened? All of the world's smartest minds belong to the German coalition. Canada, the United States. All that remains, no offense, all I'm saying is in modern standards. And, well, when I say modern, I mean these standards. All that remains in, in any form of scientific or maybe even military threat would be the combined forces of Bartia, India, and the Ching. Everyone else is working with the Germans. I don't mean, of course, you know, I don't mean your country any disrespect. I just, you know, in terms of, you know, nukes. <laughs> Moglev, Moglilev, 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 Moglilev. Something to tell me about some romantic, please. You know? Like, it totally belongs to you, Russia. You should, like, take it back. Take the power back, Russia. 
Russia, take your power back. Except for the Sarp. I mean, except for the Soviet power. Don't take that power back. That power has been banned. It has been banned by Germany. Oh, come on. Just go. You go there. You paratroopers. You'll be the heroes. You'll liberate Smolensk. The coalition forces are just ridiculous, though. I mean, it's every country you can imagine. Is that Mexico? That's... That was the Italian Federation, not Mexico. What am I thinking? <laughs> Mexico isn't even in our alliance. However, that would be pretty cool. If they were. Oops. 4.5. Almost reaching the, m the milestone. 5 million. Come on. Come on, Smolensk. Come on, Smolensk. There it is. Annexed. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it could look worse. Could look a lot worse. Yeah. It could. So you guys get going to that area. We're gonna need troops at Chelm, so let's get these guys there. Go. And we've. <laughs> okay, we don't need any reinforcements. Good. We need that many supplies. Good as well. Double good. Uh, let's, let's actually overproduce some supplies for now. 113 in upgrades. Let's even these numbers out a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Even them up. Actually, let's, let's just do this. There it is. Just go like that. Damn you. Squeaky chair. I wonder how many convoys I have. I probably have, like, not that many. Because <laughs> I have not maintenance my con convoys at all. Uh, I have 25. No, I have more than that. I have 25 convoys running. I've run a lot. Basically, a lot. I have a lot of convoys. New industries, yay! You tank brigades, why aren't you doing anything, you scrubs? Where are they? It's because they are in Russian territory. Who cares? Ah, oh, apologize. I try not to drink or eat or do anything too much on camera. Well, on recording, I should say. It isn't professional. But then again, am I really trying to be professional? I mean, I'm not trying to make a job out of this. I'm not trying to make money out of it. I'm just doing this for the fun. The fun of showing off. Yeah. <laughs> showing off my mad skills, man. Everest Expedition. Actually, to scale the roof of the world has been proposed by German mountaineering expert Ludwig Wigel Vorg, under the first to climb the north face of the Eiger in 1938. German brilliance shall prevail. Yeah. Oh, so we're the protectors of we're the protectors of freedom, we're the protectors of rights, and we're dominate. German dominate. Yes, dominate. Dominate. Pardon me. Let's do it. Oh, let's go to war with the Ukraine. Ukraine's strong. Let's form a mobile line around there. However, Balta may be an issue. So it's just actually it's, it's bad. It's a Balta. Actually, no, it won't be an issue. Move Zatve. You guys go this way. Actually, no, we're gonna use your roll. And then that way. You guys are gonna go to Kursk. That is Kursk. No, it's Lutsk. Oops. I'm an idiot. <sighs> so very much idiot. That way. You guys go this way, that way, and turn into that. You guys crush that way and that way. You guys turn in this way, you guys turn in that way. Chernigov, go that way, and go. Break! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me all of the money. Give me all of the Ukraine. I want all of it. So much blood spilled. So much blood has been spilled. And more blood will be continuously spilled as well. Let's those who have remained support that attack and go. Wow, they came to how fast those forces actually got there. And we have cornered some brigades. So 
Get in there. In there. Let's check this out. Ho ho ho! And they're out of supplies. Yeah, crushed. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Royal Ossetian Army. The Ducal, the Ducal Army of Ossetian. Ossetian. I mean. Kravgorod. You guys go to. Nikolaev. Nikolaev. Wow. These is this is an intense Kuban. I mean, they've got like all of the Cossack areas. Well, not all of the Cossack areas. They have, they have, they have quite a large area, I should say. Not all the Cossack areas. Plains, desert. You name it for those Cossacks. Oh, those crazy Cossacks and their horse riding. They're probably motorcycle. They probably ride motorcycles in the battle now, since it's the fifties. Panzers. Uh, let's get these guys here. Let's teleport them over here. Is that actually everyone? Oh fuck! <laughs> that was not a smart idea. I've just thrown back millions of years of progress. What have I done? You just go to cars, man. Go. Come on, come on, come on. This guy's there. So much blood. Go here and then here, right? Wait, no, they're going. No, they're not. They're going there. Kirovgrad. Kirovgrad. Since they're going to Cherkasy, these guys will go there. And then, say to Kiev. Well, these guys aren't doing anything. So let's just push them across the river. Oh shit! That was a complete, total idiot move. Good job. Good job, me. Good job. You win the award. For smartest strategist ever since Sun Tzu. <sighs> yeah. I should win awards. All of the awards. Just give them to me now. Just give me the Iron Cross right now. I want it. It's Kiev. You guys are already doing stuff. Italian Federation bombers. We have to push these guys to the other side of the river so these Russians can just sweep them from the field. Uh... And once these guys get there, we're gonna probably move these guys in here. Let's move these guys down here. Just, 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 just don't even, just don't even stop. Just don't even stop. Don't stop them now. They're having a good time. Poltava. Just keep on going. I mean, Kharkov, I'm pretty sure is the last. Yeah, it is. So just go. Go. If only my AI compatriots were in any form way, you know, attack, attacking. Just, just they would attack, you know. <sighs> That's probably really loud in the microphone. I probably shouldn't do that. Victory against the Ukrainians. Yes. Wow. So much destruction. Mm. Yeah. I actually wonder if the Russians have any cores. They have cores on just this area. So, yeah. So that means I have, I have, I can create a protectorate. I could create a Cossack protectorate. Eh, I probably should. Yeah. Cossack protectorate. I'm going to. Kharkov, come on. Yeah, we've gotten... We've taken Kharkov. Oh, oh shit. Click away, click away, click away. Click. There we go. You guys, why have you not won yet? 
Just start winning. You just need Sevastopol. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why so much lag? That was weird. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Look at all those kills. Break it in, them kills. Five for four. Sri Lanka. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. The Italians are the ones who's losing so much personnel. Wow. They have obviously no idea how to lead an army. And it's over. The Ukrainians are down for the count. And it's time to finish it. Dead. Yeah. Ugh, it's an ugly border. Oh, thank you. I'll probably just keep this in the area, the river area. Release like release them. Yeah, let's see. Let's go to area. Oh, hey, there we go. Perfect. So let's keep. This is Odessa. This is Kiev, right? Kiev, yes, yes. Kiev. And then this would be Zoromir, and then this would be Breslovsk. Yeah, actually, let's. Might as well take Lvov as well. Why haven't we claimed Poland yet? Just claim all of Poland. Yeah. Here you go. Poland. Ours. And Lithuania. Why not? Yeah. There we go. Well, some of this we don't have really claim. We don't have a lot of claims on the Belarusians, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Let me see that belligerence. Ooh! Actually, the Russians and I share a belligerence. Nice. <laughs> What is the religion of the chain? Come on. Yeah, they deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve that shit. They deserve to be uh, destroyed. Deserve to be destroyed. Move there. Move there. Move there. Move. Uh, yeah. Move in there. Everyone else, move there. And you, 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 move there. That is a loud chair. God damn you, chair. When did you get broken? When did you become broke to it? <sighs> Perhaps I should just give some of this land back to the Russians. Paps. Paps. I mean, it wouldn't, hit, it wouldn't hurt to give them some IC back, but I mean, then again, they are traitorous bastards. Mm. Oh, look at that. Isn't he supposed to be dead? pretty sure he is. He is a zombie. They have managed to revive a dead man. Oh, wow. Now that skill. That's something only Russians can do, man. That skill. I need... I, uh, I'm just... I, uh, that's... I'm at a loss. Can we can we revive Wilhelm the third place? I mean, come on. Sure, yeah. I mean, I mean not Wilhelm the third. Wilhelm the second. I mean, yeah, sure. Willie th I mean, you know, sure, you know, Bill the third. It's pretty cool, but I mean... Come on. His father survived two world wars and managed to create this glorious empire that will stand the test of time. I think. I think. Or at least I like to think, you know. I don't want to toot my own horn. But yeah. Look at these Panzer Grenadiers. There. Let's move them over here. Traps on. Who is this guy? Sukru Sarukuglu. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I ruined everything. Meh. You know, I'm actually really shocked. Since I, I mean, I released. I mean, I annexed when I annexed the uh, the Turks. I would have thought that the Greeks would have made a move for, you know, Magna Grecia. Wait, no, not Magna Grecia. What is it? Um. The Megali idea, there you go. You know, all of this, I guess. But they didn't. And I'm not sure whether or not I should be surprised or glad. They probably had pressure from the Kaiser not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> the Greece is all like, Yo, we want to land. And those, the Kaiser was all like, No, that's not yours. <laughs> and it was never yours. So, fuck up. We're gonna give it to our Turkish Free State. 
you know, deserves it and actually has legitimate claims on it that don't go back to the 15th century. 14th century? 15th century? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to go population wise, I guess, maybe, but. Yeah, I don't think there's that many Greeks there now. And if they are, they're living under a secular, social, liberal Turkey. And if and and if they're still in Turkey, why didn't and they haven't migrated back to a very progressive social liberal Greece, which has you know Cyprus, all of their islands, and they have enough room. They have Adrianople, Gallipoli. I mean, they have they have the land and the resources to you know make themselves great. So they should move back to Greece, I guess. So there really shouldn't be any Greeks there. Well, at least not a majority. That was a disaster has struck happened to us. Wonder what the disaster was. You know, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if that one guy like fell to his death on Everest. Like that would that like I just you know that that's probably what happened. God damn you, Mount Everest! Damn you! It's somewhere there. It kills. It kills. It breaks families. It breaks families. Oh. These are these are Armenian. Trans Caucasian people. They will fall next. They will be the next target. The next target. Puppet of the TSR. Modern armor. Let's get to work on that public works. Because it creates growth. 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 It also gets rid of descent, which is good. I guess. No, what's good? What am I talking about? That's like really good. Actually, that's eight. Oh, God. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. There it is. We actually lost quite a lot of troops in that Ukrainian campaign. So we're probably going to need a bit into reinforcements. We should just fuck it. Just put everything in for reinforcements right now. Doesn't take long to refill the ranks. A couple days, maybe. Could be using that time to modernize our army, but at the same time, 